What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. I'm going to have some more videos on my 2012 Nissan Xterra. So the last time I did one of these videos, I was at 273,000 miles and that was back in October. So now it is almost a year later, it's August and you know we're at 301,384 miles. So I wanted to go over all the little things that have gone wrong so far this year. Um, what I've done, obviously it's changed a little bit. Last night I took off the um, side steps. And yeah, there's been a lot of work. And there's a lot of more work I'm going to be doing to it in the near future. Because <laughs> at 301,000 miles, you know, you're going to run into a few little issues. So let's go ahead and check out the interior real quick. So, um... I haven't really cleaned it up. I mean, I did clean the seat, but as you can see, 300,000 miles, it will take a, a beating to your seat. But let's check out that awesome dash. Look at that. 301,384 miles. Something else that I actually just recently did is um, I swapped out this radio. So this is a stock Nissan radio out of a Nissan Rogue. And if you look at this, when it starts up, it says Nissan, which I find pretty cool. Um, actually, so this fits perfectly with the wiring harness. So any wiring harness on an Xterra will fit with the Rogues. You just have to, when you do the research, make sure they're about the same year because Nissan use the same wiring harnesses and basically just plug and play in the back of it. So if um, you can add the antenna from a Nissan Rogue and you can get XM. I mean, it's pretty cool how you can swap in and out the parts. The one thing you're gonna see there though, that um, radio doesn't actually fit. Uh, I have an aftermarket bezel anyways for it, but I have to go and I have to trim the sides, but I didn't feel like doing that right now. Plus it took like six minutes, not even joking, six minutes just to throw it in there. Cause you're just pulling a couple clips, unclipping, unclipping, and then putting the new radio. It's um, super easy. The trimming was just going to take, you know, probably an extra 30, 40 minutes and I didn't have time. And also, that stereo is like six times louder than the stock radio. And plus, if you know anything about Xterra's, unless you have a Pro 4X, they didn't come with an aux cable. And in 2012, I mean, people had, you know, it was kind of unusual it still didn't have an aux cable. So, because this is uh, an S, you know, bummer. So, um... Some recent things that I had to do to it, I had to put tires on it. That's obvious. This is on its like eighth set of tires right now after 300,000 miles. Yeah, eighth set. Um, I should get to about 350 hopefully with these on there. Um, I had to put a new clutch in there. I put a center force into the summer. Obviously, I just mentioned that with the center force clutch. I did a, um, a new transmission mount. I'm also thinking about doing the engine mounts also um in the near future i mean i'm gonna start shooting more videos because it's kind of hard to find people that you know just work on the exteriors and then if there are some guys that do it but like like at 301,000 miles so like if something's gonna go wrong it's going to go wrong in this truck there's just no help in it that's what's gonna happen um overall it's holding up really well still um i didn't notice on the passenger side right in here with most trucks and stuff they tend to rust out. Um, with most trucks in here, they tend to rust out over time. Um, and I, I detail cars, so I'm always very conscious about keeping this clean, keeping this channel clean. Biggest problem is with the way they stamp them in the factory. You can't really help it because stuff's gonna get in between there. Um, so on that side, there's a speck of rust that's bubbling up underneath the paint. That's got me a little worried. I just cleaned out the vent box, um, did that today. Cleaning out on, right underneath here big thing to do on this truck because the dirt just collects up there but overall this year has been pretty darn good for you know you know 18,000 miles oh no 28,000 miles wow okay that's insane uh 20,000 miles in the last year or nine months basically um wow last night um yesterday i just changed out the fluid in the transmission it's a manual so that got changed out the rear seal on the transfer case, that started leaking, so I pulled that one out, put that in. 
that's a pretty straightforward job until you know you have 300,000 miles and it's not straightforward anymore it's broken stuff gets messed up and what do you thought was gonna take you a couple hours it takes you two weeks I'm at school so I had to come back to fix it but um otherwise it would take you like two days not two weeks but um yeah <laughs> that stuff happens but you know now it's got the clutch now it's got the transfer case all sealed up properly now it's got the new fluid in the transmission also Nissan doesn't put drain plugs that have um you know a magnet in them magnet in them but I ended up doing that for the transfer case and the transmission because I'm OCD and I want the metal out of there and after 300,000 miles I'm sure there's stuff in there so I wanted to collect whatever was left in there um but besides that, it's been pretty good this year. You know, I'm trying to take this truck to four, 400,000 miles. I mean, that's gonna take me a while to do, or 500,000, it depends. We'll see how long the truck lasts. But just wanna give you guys a quick update on the truck. If you like this channel, you wanna see more videos like this, and, well, I'm just gonna do more videos fixing the truck, cause it's bound to break. Not that it's not reliable, it's just, you know, you just gotta keep up on it, otherwise you are gonna end up breaking down. So if you like this video, hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.